Billy, can you push that in towards for us? Phenomenal performance and early season silverware, something you've been working towards this off season. Yeah, look, it's, 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 I suppose it's about winning. It's about winning, winning, winning all the time for us, just to get that into your heads. Um, we've got to be very careful now and not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we've got to water in two weeks' time, and like that can't, it, it hasn't been the whole um, agenda for the year of the McGrath Cup. It's, it, it's been really important from the point of view of giving the lads a bit of belief in themselves about winning games and understand what it is to win games and um, against teams that are, have been historically and currently better than us. So that's ultimately what it is. And they, they, they won a lot of hardball out there because they put themselves in position to win the hardball. You make your own look. It doesn't happen. And they've done the work off the field. So look, it's fantastic for them in their heads because it, it just confirms the work they're doing off the field. That if they keep doing it, you know, they can challenge themselves more to to see what they take it to. You know, that's the ultimate for them. Um, and that's really what it's about. It's it, you know, it's, it's I suppose silverware and the fact is at home and there's a bigger crowd than normal at a football match helps the lads and it gives them a bit more pep in the step. But by God, we, we learned a hard lesson from Tipperary to Cork last year, so that won't be happening this year. Well, I suppose energy, work race, hard work, these are kind of the things this, that you would have seen from that performance. I mean, to be going for that long for the 70 minutes, did you feel this, that they'd have it in the tank, I suppose, to close out the game because they really were, I suppose, working their socks off for the whole game? But firstly, it's a compliment to our Adrian O'Brien, the SNC coach, an outstanding individual um, who has an unbelievable interest in the boys individually uh, as a person, as a sport. And so you can put a lot of that, if not all of that, down to him. Obviously, the boys have to do the work. So without them doing the work, his he's skills don't come to the fore. But you can be sure that Adrian's um, hands are all over that. Uh, look, when you go down to 14 men for, I suppose, the bones of 15 minutes, against a, a team of Cork's capability you didn't wonder will you have and then you see you know historically we don't be we, we don't know how to handle them situations and we don't be in them too often um, but they handled it really well as they unfolded in front of them and they, and they went on and did it from there so look fitness wise yes I would have fierce faith in, in, in their fitness levels because of um, and, and it's up to them then when they go and do but I think they believe a lot in what Adrian has done for them and I suppose it'd be remiss of me to think that it's all down to Billy Lee it's not it's Brian Bigley uh, Shane O'Donnell, Adrian, Shane Kelly, you know, they do a lot in the background as well and the physio, so it's, it's, it's a complete um, teamwork, you know. The control and calmness on the ball as well was, was massive, working the ball from defence to attack and keeping possession when you needed to, you mentioned being down to the 14, keeping possession and keeping the scores ticking over as well, the calmness and composure today was, was phenomenal. Yeah, look, but you see... These lads know getting into their mid twenties, and and you know they have a lot of it played in some cases, and they have a lot of experience. So, you see, historically we trained to try lads in the Limerick at nineteen and twenty. They are young boys. They they just want. They're not ready for this, and we're wondering in their heads, ah, should that this person's. We got to give these times time to grow into themselves. And if you look at the top counties, most of the players are not making until they're twenty three or twenty four, and we got to be patient with some of our younger lads coming through. Allow them time to to physically build themselves up and gain the experience and, and be patient and look hopefully most of these lads will stay together over the next four to five years that allow the work that's been done in the academy come through and we're not rushing players through too early you know. I think it was a spread of nine different scores as well great to see that everyone can, can I suppose get on the board and uh, a couple of defenders in there as well so you can attack from anywhere. Yeah well look that's a big thing I'd be working on you know that you see the very much you're down to one man to score for you a good defender in that position is him tied up and that's you over the game so you're trying to encourage lads and, and technique how they shoot and where they're shooting from and um, then all of a sudden it's the team that position to stop rather than any one man and um, you know you'll always have you know the Danny Nevilles, the Jamie Lees, the Shami Cowles within a group that will contribute one or two more but it's encouraging and I think you know to be honest with you about one or two games we're, we've eight or nine for us popping up, seven eight or nine for us popping up in most games scoring. You look at one of them though, Danny Neville, I suppose, popped up with points at crucial times and was, was one of the standouts definitely tonight. Taking pressure as well with the with the runs in behind, taking pressure off the, the defence and, and keeping the scores ticking over. He got two points there, kind of closing out the game that were really crucial. Yeah, look, I think, I think anyone who knows football in Munster or in Limerick will know that Danny Neville is a top level player. Uh, Danny had the flu playing against Clare and, and, and Waterford. Um, People wouldn't probably know that, and, but like, Jesus, Danny Neville is careful that any day he wants to talk out and play football. Um, and it's great to have him back, and um, you know, that's what Limerick football wants. It doesn't matter who the manager is, we want the players out there, the best players in the county, competing, and um, we guide them 
that's the bottom line. We guide them. They, 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 they have to have the ability mentally, physically, strength-wise. And um, thankfully, look, there's a good bunch of guys there that are working. And it gives us no... We've got to be really careful here, the expectations. Um, it's McGrath Cup. We've got a hard John in the league. And that's ultimately what it is about for us to try and see can we get from the bottom of the league to the top of the league. That doesn't guarantee us promotion. And we're not saying here we're going to win promotion because we'll be at Cock and we'll be at Cup final. And we just need to temper this down and realise it's pre-season and it's the middle of January. Billy, you just asked for finding about the, you know, the, the no rules. Uh, obviously, the sim bin didn't really too, hamper you too, too badly today. I know you got two sim bins, but you, you, you kind of broke even out of those, those periods. The mark, though, on the other hand, that Danny made two crucial marks at crucial times. Is that something you've been working on in the goal, or is it a case of... You know, it, it, I have bigger challenges than the mark big, <laughs> to get to you know, bigger, much bigger challenges to get. But yeah, we do look it, at it, but we don't. Like yeah, it, it is like you know, if it, it is. But look, um, yeah, if it was only the mark I had to work with, I'd be happy manager. But no, there's lots plenty more to work with. But it's something you make them aware of and you try and keep it. And you've got to empower the players to make that decision at a given time. You know, um, I think I think it might have been Jamie. Carver put in one and Jerry put in the other, but they need the presence of mind. And ultimately, it's the presence of mind when the body is tired, 10 minutes to go, 15 minutes to go, make the right decisions. That's what winning loses games, you know? And coming off, I suppose you had a heavy defeat to Cork last year in Championship. I know this is McGrath Cup, but is it, I suppose, important to the players that they went out and a performance in front of a good crowd against the same opposition today? It was important for the players to perform. If there was no one here, and I know it didn't really matter. It's great that the supporters are here. This is about the boys inside here, about them. For themselves, and that's ultimately it's fantastic for them that the, and the fantastic that the supporters came in to encourage that performance when they got into the dying stages because that that brings you on on a way of emotion. But it's all about the boys inside in that dressing room for me, and you know their willingness to work and to represent the county Limerick as best they can, and that's what they're doing, and that shouldn't be lost in the midst of it all, you know, because. Then we're going to go on and win on all Ireland, but they're going to be these guys are doing the best they can, representing them, and it's fantastic they could perform like that in front of a crowd and kick 20 or 21 points. You know? I saw Jack Kylie congratulate you there. Would you get? Would you talk with him and get advice off him? Or ah, I give him advice. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have jobs. <laughs> no, honestly, it's not myself and John. Um, have a great relationship. We've known each other for years through, through the club scene, um, played against each other for years football. So we'd be we good mates, you know. Um, we talk we talk regularly. We have been for a number of years, you know, just ch chatting and yeah, John, John, it's it's good. But like for us and them lads, it's great to see our own lads in Holland at the top level and um, that because they are club mates of these lads inside, so that kind of inspires them. So it's great and um, yeah. Of course, it's